and that's the principle I apply to business. You'll see from the, the newsletter, I mean, it'll probably be released by the time this content hits the screen. Um, I'm going to do a, I'm starting a series on podcasts about how I'm setting up a new podcast alongside everything else I'm doing. I wouldn't do that if I wasn't comfortable that I could minimize the amount of workload that that creates for me. Has to be minimum workload, otherwise I'm not gonna get it done. And it goes by the wayside like everybody else's podcasts do. Mine doesn't, mine won't, and I know it won't. Stage one was about how, how to choose to set it up efficiently with ChatGPT, right? Get description written, ideate on it, figure out what I wanna do, what's gonna be my gimmick. What am I gonna, what's gonna set me apart from all the other podcasts out there? Market Pulse Pros and Pioneers, by the way, if you wanna give it a, a listen, Spotify link, it'll be down in the comments. Also available in all major podcast directories. Newsletter two is gonna be much more about how I streamline the process of getting guests on that show, right? First up, create a calendar link, right? That just automates getting them in my calendar. And you can set custom workflows up for how to contact them before and afterwards. So before the show goes live, make sure you're getting a biography out of them, get them to write the biography for you, rather than you have to research them and do it yourself and probably do a bad job of it. Get them to send you the headshot so you can get the graphics prepared. Make sure that the instructions are there to tell them how to share the podcast, how they can maximize the impact on their own profiles and social media. All the little things that you'd forget to do or you just wouldn't be bothered to do if you wrote that email every time. But getting that into an automated flow then, so not just having it as a template where I can send it to people, but still has to be a conscious effort to send it to them. But actually I just send them a link and then the link sends them to Calendly. They book, a, they book the meeting. I know what that's for. On my side, all I've got to do is swap the Calendly link for a recording studio link in my diary. And from their side, they get a nice little email saying, thank you for signing up. Uh, please send me this information. And then afterwards, again, like, thank you for being a guest on the show. Here's your... Here's your promotional materials. Here's the date that it's going to be done by. Um, here's when you're going to go live. All those sorts of things. Just making sure you make everybody's life um, as easy as possible.